clean meat is real meat. It isn't an alternative to meat. It isn't a substitute to meat. It is real meat, except rather than being taken from a slaughtered animal's body, it is coming from a cell that was taken from a living animal's body. And so in the same way that muscle cells inside of an animal grow into more muscle, we can now take those cells and outside of the animal, make them grow exactly the same way that they do inside the animal into the same exact meat, except it takes a lot fewer resources, fewer greenhouse gas emissions, less animal cruelty, and fewer food safety problems. In order to produce clean meat, you just need the initial cell from an animal. And from that one microscopic cell, you can produce literally tons of meat. And so you still would probably want to have um, some farm animals around so you can get newer cells or have a greater diversity of, of uh, cell lines. Now, we are not just domesticating animals anymore. We are domesticating animal cells to create the best cells to make the most delectable, juiciest, most best tasting meat that we can. And that is a real revolution because it allows us to have much more control over what types of foods we're producing for far fewer resources as well. Clean meat is meat. And so it tastes like meat. If you eat it, as I have eaten it several times, it tastes like meat. But you can also make it so that it tastes even better than meat. You can construct it in such a way to create new types of tastes that we haven't had before. But I think that for the most part, at the beginning at least, it'll be important for clean meat to look and taste just like the meat that we eat today. And when the people who have eaten it generally, they say, yeah, it really tastes like meat because that's what it is. The very early prototypes of clean meat were only muscle. They had no fat in them, so it was like a very lean type of meat. But now the startups are making it uh, more like the traditional meat that we eat, meaning that it has fat in addition to muscle. While there has been no clean meat that has been sold anywhere on Earth yet, that will likely change in the next year or two. But I would imagine that maybe within five or so years that we could have clean meat actually on supermarket shelves. And right now, they're very expensive. They are kind of like the original smartphones. They'd be very expensive, not really affordable for, for the everyday people. But that will change, and it's already getting much more affordable. And clean meat is intended not necessarily for the shoppers who want to go to their natural artisanal butcher shop on the corner, but it is more intended for people going to McDonald's per se, which is to say it's intended for the mainstream, for most people. And that I think is a, a big difference between this and some of the other solutions that are out there because we need a solution that works for the masses, for the mainstream. And if clean meat can get to price parity with conventional meat, if it can become the same price, then it will be such a solution. I think that in some parts of the world, they may be more skeptical, especially parts of the world where there isn't hunger. Um, but in parts of the world where they either know hunger today or they have known hunger in the recent past, they are far more accepting of food technologies to ensure that people don't go hungry. So even if there are countries like France that end up trying to legislate against this type of product, in places like China and India, where hunger is a far more real concern for large numbers of people, I think that they'll be very eager to have an, an abundant supply of delicious, safe meat to eat that a clean meat industry could produce. Um, there may be some lobbying to try to protect incumbent industries in places like France, but I do think that smart meat companies won't lobby against this revolution. They will want to join it so that they can become the meat producers of the future rather than trying to cling on to the 20th century. In the same way that somebody might have a bread maker at home or an ice cream maker at home. In the future, we may have meat makers at home. 
where we can purchase our own tea bags of cells and put them in our meat makers and make our own local artisanal meats that we can enjoy with our family. And so the smart meat companies are going to become the clean meat companies, but those that try to cling on to the 20th century way of producing food are not going to adapt well. And so we do need programs to help train people, including farmers, on how to participate in a type of clean meat economy. And the same way that in America we had programs to help train tobacco growers how to grow something else. And you can envision the same thing happening to help uh, farmers who have been slaughtering animals move to some other type of agricultural production that society needs more in the 21st century.